so i have a great news for everyone harsh just cleared pmp with all above target harsh joined us in batch 1 that ended in the last week of january and he cleared pmp with a surprise like let me put it in straight harsh i was watching space odyssey 2001 if you have seen it it's an awesome yeah. movie i was just yeah. watching it and uh, suddenly i got a message from harsh i checked the message and i said i got a surprise for you and suddenly the beautiful surprise came harsh is now certified pmt with all above target harsh first of all congratulations from the entire pmt community on clearing pmt with all above target so harsh first of all how do you feel i feel i feel so lighted um it's it's so relaxing at this point i would say i mean i was uh-huh. uh i know the time is limited for me because i started my journey um uh, in middle of jan and i completed my training by the end of jan and i hardly mm-hmm. have like 30 days but i was so determined to get this pmp cleared before february so mm-hmm. i made a target first saying hey let me let me plan for mm-hmm. this pmp exam and i started i, I got the slot on 26 and i started preparing fast track during last 10 to 15 days Okay, Harsh. When did you book your exam? I booked on fifteenth of February. So you have ten days, but you never told me. Ah, uh, because <laughs> I don't. I know if if I told you that, you would never allow me to allow, take the exam without completing the checklist. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the thing. But the thing is that uh, what ends well that that is the most important thing, and I really love this thing that you took the challenge, and yeah. it has been a. it has been multiple times that my students are doing this am i too much hard on my students i would uh, like to no, i mean <laughs> we don't want to go go deviant on the process of what you've created to us and you know that that could be a road map for other people too i don't want them to deviate from the program and i'm confident that after writing three or four mock exams i'm i'm looking good and also the uh, questionnaire you gave me i'm getting around 80% in all those questionnaires and i completed first five of them and i gained the confidence mm-hmm. okay let's talk about this thing you did all the uh, journey videos all my batch videos you watch all those videos again right correct and uh, and then you did all 50 50 questions right i did at least half of them i did all the main things all the fundamentals all the processes uh, agile communication management how to uh, teams um these are the five topics i've concentrated on based on the mm-hmm. weightage in the exams and the rest of the stuff is cost fast quality procurement uh being in construction i'm i'm aware of those things but i still reviewed your slides and uh videos before uh, going mm-hmm. to the exam but not the com- haven't completed the exams and route okay. the route map okay anything else that you have completed before giving the exam um no only your material i haven't i haven't touched okay. anything outside your material okay about how many coaching calls did you watch and or did you attend it's been like um, just one month less than one month so <laughs> <laughs> i think it's just a couple of uh, things because of my family commitments and work commitments i couldn't attend each and every yeah, session yeah that, that that was the interesting thing for me because uh, even when asked i asked the like, last time you said that oh, i'm committed here and there yeah. so that is more fascinating for me because you are very committed towards your family and all those things and you even said that hey amir i have to take other things also care in addition to the pmp and i totally understand uh, your point of view uh, you are in us or canada uh, us us so all the things need to, to be taken care of so that's important okay so you took exam in home or in center uh say that again you took exam in home or in center no no in the center uh, pearson in center pearson center. center where do you live harsh in us california where? California. Okay, so can you name the center so that I have a lot of students from California? Uh, and how, how do you rate the experience of the center? Ah, uh, it's it's a great experience. Uh, I live in San Diego, and mm-hmm. um, it's hardly fifteen minutes from my place. Um, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's near Mira Mesa. That's the locality. Um, mm-hmm. The exam center was pretty decent. I went there fifteen mm-hmm. minutes ahead. They took the you know initial verifications of my documents and everything they checked me mm-hmm. and they gave me a rules and regulations sheet that i reviewed um mm-hmm. check in process is pretty pretty straightforward um i went into the exams and it's a uh, 180 questions in 230 minutes and with mm-hmm. two breaks between uh, every 60 questions 
and mm -hmm. yeah it's it's pretty straightforward like okay. everyone is explaining all the okay. videos okay so uh, let's talk about that how did you manage that time management um time was good i mean for the first 60 for the first 60 questions i used most of my time then i realized no i need to i need to pick up my pace how much when you say most what do you mean by most um, i would say i think i, I spent around um 60 to 80 minutes in the first session okay. not not even okay. 80 i would say 100 minutes you know yeah it is a lot of time on first 60 yeah, minutes it is 80 is actually recommended 80 to 85 is okay but 100 minutes is too much okay then you took your break then i took my first break i realized no i mean i calculated everything and i was like okay i need to pick up my pace um mm -hmm. because um i know i have 120 questions to do in approximately a couple of hours which is like mm -hmm. one question for one minute kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. still after the second session. I was like, I was down to, you know, completing almost two questions for three minutes kind of situation. Towards the end, it's like I didn't get a chance. I mean, for a minute, I got two questions to work on, which so I, you know, the, use my best judgment. So in the last section, you have forty-five minutes, something like that. Yeah, exactly, yeah, forty okay. minutes. Okay. Okay. And uh, okay, you were able to complete the entire exam. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have to let go some of the questions. No, I've I've because uh, towards the last ten questions, I, I haven't read the question yet because when yeah. you get the answers, yeah. you understand that the because yeah. if you're a PMP guy, you'll understand what the process is and if they're talking in the right way. So you most need, of them, you need I to move the questions. Yeah, you need to move fast. Last line yeah. answers. So exactly. the my, the thing that I said in the last year of the batch. Okay don't leave any question there is no negative marking go for it read the last line so you really uh, put that into operation yeah exactly that's what yeah, i did. yeah okay 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 that's an interesting thing okay and uh, how did you felt after that uh, once you got congratulation on your screen what was the I first was, reaction I was, I, i'm happy for the i'm happy for sure but i'm nervous at the same time because i'm, I'm targeting for above targets on all the three processes and the result will be outside waiting for you. Um, so I went in there. Uh, she handed yeah. me the, the paper with everything about Target, and I'm, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. So it's an interesting thing. For everyone who's listening and who will listen later, actually, it is being recorded, so everyone will listen later. So please don't uh, hush. You have done it, so I'm happy about that. Please don't go for above Target or don't think about Target is the important thing. Passing the PMP exam is the most important thing. Yeah, above target is like cherry on the top. It's uh, it's not that, but uh, being said that you got it, so you can say that now. Like yeah. it was important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, of course. Okay, so let's talk about the exam. I would discuss about the time management. The exam was relevant. Like which domain more the exam was treated? Um, loosely, everything is teams. Teams is the primary important thing. How how do you focus your team? How do you manage your team? Um, mm -hmm. how do you support your team how do you motivate your team mm -hmm. that's the first mm -hmm. majority of questions are from there and the second is agile um, they're giving situational questions on agile how do you how do you track these things how the processes work um, situational questions a uh, little bit about quality um, cost i believe five or six questions and procurement five or six or ten i would say mm -hmm. um, people process uh, fundamentals uh, agile business uh, environments um, processes mm -hmm. ops pef so, related and it anything that we haven't covered i don't think so i think we've covered most of them i mean if you understand the, the basics of what you've told us i think we can clear the exam pretty straightforward yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's really comforting to know that because uh, since pim books uh, more and more things are start evolving so it's comforting to know we are covering everything Okay, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so if we think about the questions, how many liner questions were? Like three liner, four liner? Um, so I would say that on an average, I start I, I started getting two liners. Um, there are a handful of one liners too. Um, mm -hmm. There are a handful of two liners. I would say 40, 50% are two liners for me. And mm -hmm. the rest of them are 10% are one liners, and the rest of them mm -hmm. are three liners. And I have so, matched the followings. Okay. I have multiple choice questions. There are more than four liners because giving the situations and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense about this thing. Yeah, so that's going good. Going good. Uh, being a construction person, which you are, how that 
uh, you feel about the exam? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you're asking about the questions related to construction or general, in general? General, as a general, general. As a general. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, you know, appreciative kind of thing to see if, uh, to see that I cleared PMP, which, mm -hmm. which defines and dictates all the processes and everything, which is pretty, it's pretty straightforward and similar to what I'm experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, I mean, I didn't took my project as literal example in answering some questions because that's not possible. So you need to step mm -hmm. away from your roles and responsibilities and understand PMP in a whole, as a whole, um, mm -hmm. as a process rather than applying it directly to your project. That okay. helped. Okay. That, that's an interesting point of view. And I really like the way how you said, okay, any final advice for all the PMP aspirants and you know, your batch has a lot of students, batch two has a lot of students and yeah. batch three is coming on 11th of March. So final advice for the students. Uh, time management, guys, come on. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just understand the time management. You know, you have three sections, you have 230 minutes, divide everything into three, you'll have certain time limit and make sure you're following that because you don't want to miss the easy questions which are coming later on. And mm -hmm. uh, flagging the questions are really helpful. Don't flag everything, just flag that you are not sure of. Um, mm -hmm. because you need time to review those things. And if, it, if it's a four liner, uh, you, will, you will take some time to understand the question. Uh, you need to understand the key points in the question, mm -hmm. what they're exactly asking. Um, mm -hmm. Just follow Amir's roadmap and his material is more than enough to you know, complete the PMP. You, you guys thank you, thank, thank you for saying that. Now you know my mantra, uh, each one teach one. You have seen how, uh, active our PMP community is. I understand you are busy and you are in a different time zone, but each one teach one. Everyone will be approaching approaching you. And just like Sabir is doing for your batch, your uh, now you need to maybe help out and see how Absolutely. you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it's, you know, with my, now all the PMP aspirants are helping. I'm looking forward now that from your side. And of course, uh, I also assist you when you help other students give your time. Like, uh, you know, you need to have 60 PDUs to maintain your exam. You yeah. know that, no? Yeah. yeah. So for, I will help you in that as a result of that, because I want it to be both sides. You helping the students, yeah. but also in addition take. to that, yeah, I want to add value. I don't say give and take. I would say add value to sure. your thing that your time is not just uh, wasted. Being said that, it's the time for celebration. You really did work hard. I would say it's like 2 a.m. for me. So what time is it's it? For 2 p.m. for me. 2 p.m. So I I highly request you, whatever you like to eat, uh, go with the family and have a blast celebration. You earned it, man. You earned it. Yeah, biryani for life. So <laughs> Yeah, so biryani, <laughs> go, go and have biryani, whatever you like. Go with yeah. family and have it. Thank you, Harsh. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Amir, you for trusting us. Just to put in context for everyone, he was the last student to register in batch one. <laughs> I know, right? Just before I the want, day. Just before that. Thank you very much, Ash. Thank you very much. And best of luck for your future endeavors. Thanks, Amir. Thanks for your coaching and all the guidance. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.